Well, I've flown all the way from Scotland to do a bit more mapping. We did some mapping two years ago and we identified uh, that we were in the propolitic halo of a porphyry. So we, the mapping demonstrated there was a porphyry around here somewhere. Hercules drilled the chargeability high and bingo, came up with a fabulous discovery of a concealed porphyry. So th most of this porphyry system, the good stuff, is concealed, which what make, is what makes it an exciting target. Some of the best porphyries in the world are, are concealed under cover, especially in Chile, tend to be concealed under gravels, young gravels. So when you go exploring for these things, you need to have a different tool set and geophysics helps, of course. But the big companies in Chile, they drill through cover all the time, looking for buried, concealed porphyries. But that's what Hercules has found, a fabulous discovery. And what I'm trying to do is fit what I'm mapping on the surface with what we see in the drill core. So some of these rocks that we see on the surface, they're, they're volcanic rocks, they've got tricky textures. The, a lot of the copper is hosted not in the porphyry intrusions, the igneous intrusions, but in what we call the country rock. And those are volcanic rocks with tricky textures. We've got things like uh, what we call an ignin bright, which is something that came out of Mount St. Helens, that, that sort of rock, a welded pyroclastic flow. We've got sandstones, we've got limestones, um, and all of these, and andesites as well. And some of these rocks react better to the porphyry fluids and they develop more copper because they're more reactive. I mean, put simply, an andesite has got more iron in it, so it's more reactive. It can give you more sulphide, chalcopyrite. So what I'm trying to do is figure out in three dimensions what we have on the surface, which way the, the beds of the volcanic rock are dipping, so we can project them under cover, under the what's called the Hercules rhyolite, and where it's concealed and try to figure out where the good stuff is, where the most reactive rock is that'll give us the best grades. So um, it sounds like you're doing a lot of, you know, structural work on the, you know, mapping to help guide the future targeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades, mapping, porphyry, hydrothermal alteration uh, and structure. So structure is going to be a huge part of this. We've seen some big faults in drill core. And we've also seen in the high grade areas, some some of the copper has been remobilized and redeposited in structures, which we call these fibrous veins, which is unusual. I've never seen that in a porphyry deposit before. Uh, wow, so, so you've never seen that before? Never seen that before. The copper being remobilized into late structures. Um, that's that's very unusual. It may not be a huge, it may be a bit of a distraction. Most of the drill core we have laid out here is what I would call classic porphyry mineralization. It's an intrusion, perhaps diuretic or quartz diuretic. Texture's really destroyed, so it's difficult to be sure. But it's full of what we call potassic alteration, secondary biotite. Uh, lots of chalcopyrite, lots of bornite, so this is where the high grade is in this particular hole, and it's classic porphyry. We see we see plenty of quartz staining. Um, the the chalcopyrite and the bornite, most of the copper minerals tend to be in the disseminated in the matrix of the rock, but we do see quartz molybdenite in these uh, some of these quartz veins. Uh, we call those B veins. Um, but it's classic porphyry. And this is hole 21 from last year? 21. And the good news is there aren't many porphyries in the world where we get high grade copper in the hypergene zone, where, where, where it hasn't been upgraded by weathering and we get supergene enrichment. This is primary hypergene high grade. And, you know, most of the big porphyries in the world, you know, they're they're coming in at 1 billion tonnes at 0.5% copper. 
you don't see these sort of grades. Uh, so this this is very encouraging to see high hypergene grades. Yeah, I like this. Thank you, Warren. You're welcome.